All right, this video is about what we call tangency and togetherness. And these are clues that you can find in the equation to make the graph. Okay, with tangency, tangency is when a, when a factor in the numerator has a double multiplicity. Okay, remember double multiplicity? So look at this example of this equation. Okay, if this factor right here has a double multiplicity, x minus 4 squared, right? So that's a double multiplicity. And what happens is the line is going to bounce off the x-axis at that x-intercept. Okay, so for instance, in this equation, if I solve my x-intercepts, I get a, I get 4, 0, and I get a negative 1, 0, right? Well, because this has the square right there, this has tangency. So what's going to happen, and we're not going to get into the rest of this graph, but what's going to happen is when it hits this point right here, um, let's just pretend it's coming from down here. When it hits, it's going to come back down. It's not crossing the x-axis, okay? It's bouncing or double multiplicity, just like what we did before when we did multiplicity, all right? But remember, it's only from the factors in the numerator have double multiplicity. That's called tangency. Now, togetherness is what happens when a factor in the denominator is squared. So we don't say it's multiplicity if it's in the denominator. But what happens then is that the graph has what we call togetherness about the asymptote. Okay, because asymptotes come from the numerator, right? So that's what happens here. So if I take this and I find the vertical asymptote, it's going to be at x equals 3, right? So there's a vertical asymptote here. And let's pretend, um, let's see, the horizontal is going to be at 0. And I'm going to have... x-intercept at 0. So anyway, I have a curve that's doing this, right? Let's just pretend the curve's doing this. Now, the fun part about togetherness is I know there is togetherness about this asymptote right here because this is the one squared. Okay, And now that I have part of my graph done, I know that there's togetherness. So I know that on here on the right side, I don't have to do a t-table anymore. I know there's togetherness. So these two lines have to be side by side. So this one on the right has to be down because it's together with the one on the left. Okay, let's try some examples. Look at this guy. Let's solve this all the way out and then use what we know about tangency and togetherness. Okay, so for a root, I have to take the top, set it equal to zero and solve it. So x is one, so my root is one, zero. Vertical asymptote is x minus two, equal to 0, so x is 2. Now, I'm going to put a t because this x minus 2 is squared. That's togetherness, right? Now, in behavior, if I multiply all this out down here on the bottom, I would have x squared minus 4x plus 4. So x squared is on bottom, x to the first is on top. So this is Bobby O, so y equals 0. Y-intercept, I would have a 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 2 squared. So negative 1 over positive 4. So 0, negative 1 fourth. Okay, does it cross the end behavior asymptote? Uh, let's see. If I set it all equal, let me do it up here. X minus 1 over X minus 2 squared equals 0. Well, that's going to be 0. So X minus 1 equals 0. So x is 1. So it's going to cross. Yes, it's going to cross where x is a 1 and the y is 0. So that's the same place at the root. It's going to cross at my root. All right, let's grab this guy. Here's a root. Vertical asymptote at x equals 2. And behavior at y equals 0. Yes, it crosses here. So it's not just going to bump, or tangency, it's going to cross because the x minus 1 up here is not squared. Um, Y-intercept is at 0, negative 4, so that's down here. So I know the curve has to do this, has to cross there. Now on the right side, I need to decide, is it up, is it top or bottom? Well, looking at my togetherness, we said there's togetherness about the asymptote at y equals 2. So the graph is together. So where is it at y equals 2? Well, it's going up to positive infinity. So it's going to be together, so they're going to be side by side in that way. If you're unsure, you can always do a table. 
but this togetherness clue will tell you. Let's try another one. x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x plus 3. All right, first thing I need to do is factor this. This is x plus 2 times x plus 2 or x plus 2 squared. Okay, that's important. We know now that that's important. It's going to give us a clue on the graph. So on my root, I have to do x plus 2 equals 0, so x is negative 2. And this has tangency because it's x plus 2 squared. The multiplicity is there. It's going to bounce off where x is negative 2. Vertical asymptote at x plus 3 equals 0, so x is negative 3. End behavior, Fabio Botano eats DC. Well, it's a botano, so I'm going to have to do synthetic. So it's 1, 4, 4. I solve the bottom for 0, x is negative 3. Bring down the 1, multiply. 1, multiply. 1. This is a remainder, doesn't matter. So my equation is y equals x plus 1. All right. Um, y intercept, all right? Put in a 0 everywhere there's an x. So 0 squared plus 4 times 0 is 0 plus 4 over 0 plus 3. So that's 4 thirds. 1 and 1 third. So it's 0 and 4 thirds. All right, now we have to decide, does this cross the uh, in-behavior asymptote? Well, we're not going to mess with this because it's an oblique, and for now, oblique asymptotes, we're not going to mess with crossing that. So don't worry about that for now. We're just going to say, no, I'm not going to give you any that do, all right, for the sake of simplicity. So let's graph what we know. x is negative 2, 0. There's an asymptote at negative 3. All right, I have an asymptote at x plus 1. So if my y-intercept is 1. The slope is 1. So I go up 1 over 1. So it is oblique, like this. Uh, the intercept is at, four, at 0 4 thirds, so that's just a little bit above 1. And crossing the in-behavior asymptote, we said no. All right, now we got to use this tangency clue. That means at negative 2, it's bouncing. So it's going to bounce off, which kind of makes sense. It bounces, it has to go through the y-intercept and then hug the asymptotes. All right, and then we look to see what would make this a function. If I put anything down here in this area, it would no longer be a function. It would not pass the vertical line test. Um, over here, kind of the same idea, but there's no togetherness. There, x plus 3 in the bottom is not squared, so there's no togetherness. Therefore, I have to conclude it goes down here. Okay, it's the only, only shape it could take because it's not going to cross the asymptotes. All right? So tangency and togetherness. So I want you to try this. Just You're not graphing it, but just from the equation, determine if there's tangency at the root and or if there's togetherness about the asymptote and asymptote. And if so, state where is the tangency and where is the togetherness, okay? If you're unclear, we'll go through it in class.